Hello and welcome to this blog post. Today we'll be celebrating all things paranormal romance with the release of the wonderful box set from the even more wonderful Rosemary A. Johns. Um, her Rebel Angel series has just been released. This is book five, Vampire God. Um, and I'll read to you a short excerpt from that in just a moment. But um, I'll read to you the information about the box set. Now, forgive me, because I'm reading off of the same screen, so might not be like, might not look like I'm talking straight to you, but I promise I am. Uh, so, this box set includes all five books in the Rebel Angel series by USA Today, sorry, <laughs> by USA Today best-selling author Rosemary A. Johns, and contains 43 hours of thrilling magic, dark romance, and adventure with twists that you'll never see coming. Vampires and angels are locked in a deadly war, but first, they want their daughter back. Half vampire, half angel, Violet was abandoned amongst the humans in London as a baby. Suddenly discovering monstrous powers on her 21st birthday, she thinks she's the most dangerous creature to per... <laughs> Sorry, can't get, my teeth, can't get my teeth in, can't get my words out. She thinks she's the most dangerous creature to prowl the streets. She's wrong. When a snarky angel falls into her lap and her adopted sister disappears, she's forced into a new role, Huntress. On the... On the run, she'll have to rely on a sexy vampire geek while facing off the harem boy angel threatening her sister. And there's only one way she'll win, by letting out the monster. But the deeper she's dragged into the supernatural world, the more she struggles to survive, and it's not long before she's faced with impossible choices about love and life. If you love epic battles, steamy love scenes, badass anti-heroines, and all the magic that comes with dark vampires, angels, and witches, then... Mm, sorry, should have read this before reading it out loud. <laughs> uh, then, <laughs> check out Amazon, Audible, and iTunes for the full box set. It's possible, if you're very lucky, that I have a couple of codes left if you want... Uh, to have a free listen to this box set. I don't have very money, so you have to be quick. Send me an email um, or just contact me on Facebook or something if you want me to see if I have uh, either a US or a UK code. I can't make you any promises, but it's possible. So I'm going to read to you just a couple of pages. Look, if I'm delving in midway through a series, it's kind of difficult to make sure I don't have any spoilers. Um, but I think I'm safe. Uh, however, if you haven't read any of these books and you are particularly bothered that I might give something away, which I don't think I will, maybe stop listening and just go and buy the box set now. So this is a few pages from the fifth and final book in Rosemary A. John's Rebel Angels series. This is uh, a few pages from chapter five of Vampire God. And I always feel like I need to make a disclaimer whenever I read an excerpt from any of these books. Uh, Violet, who uh, is the narrator of the story, is a London girl. So I do affect a slight London accent. Um, yeah, I've had comments that this isn't how they talk in London. Perhaps not. I mean, I did live there for 15 years, so... <laughs> I uh, am a Londoner in my heart, but yeah, maybe not everybody talks like that. However, Violet does. <laughs> Five. Growing up in Jerusalem children's home, I'd weave stories about the mum and dad who'd abandoned me at birth. Fantastical and thrilling. The more I told them, the less I had to believe the nagging reality that no one wanted to adopt the th freaky eyed orphan. Yet there was another type of kid in the home, the ones who had parents, but who'd spent their lives making up stories in which they'd been born orphans. Because it's family who can hurt us the most. I cringed, closing my eyes, and expecting Istifil's flame ribbons, which had shot across the gilded cage, to burn me. When instead nothing seared me, and even the diamonds on my top had stopped vibrating at the danger, I cracked open my eyes. Why had the bitch held back on the barbecuing? Gabriel shuddered next to me, sweat beading on his forehead. He still clutched Diniel to his chest, but silver burst from the vortexes of his eyes, which swelled. 
which swirled as they had in the Angel Games, shielding us in a protective bubble that reminded me of the golden one that I had generated to protect to protect Drake and the Angel Kids in battle against Lucifer. Had that been a seraphim skill? The gleam of the bubble cast the cool white and blue of the arched room in a fairy moonlight, just as it held back Istafil's flickering ribbons. The fire shadow's flame snapped snapped back in irritation. Sorry, <laughs> thought I'd read that right, I didn't. You know better than to interfere with a chastisement, lamb. Istafil's voice had hardened. I shivered. The bitch was taking the wicked stepmother role a little too far. Your tricks are for court one alone. Now drop the shield and return your brettish brother to my care. I snorted. Not happening, Cruella. Please, Oh, no, wrong character. Please, Violet. I swung around to stare at Gabriel. I didn't know if it was the please or the Violet, but I knew then that Istafil had a higher status in court too than Gabriel, and that his reaction to save me and his brother had been pure instinct. Put away your dagger. I glanced down at my hand and my white knuckles around Star's hilt. Shakily, I forced myself to sheathe Star, which was bastard hard when there was a fire shadow in the room. Istafil's shadow slowly took form, a seraphim with flaming wings and ruby ribbons, which which wound around our body. Our floor-length hair was the same ruby as the ribbons, whose long lengths weaved like cobras about to strike with shining jewels for eyes. Sickeningly fragranced wafts of rose clouded the gilded cage like an invasion. At last, Gabriel ran his hand, just once, over his brother's shaken shoulder, then he blinked. His eyes settled as the bubble faded. Istafil darted forward, wrenching Diniel away from Gabriel. And Gabriel let her. Diniel wailed as Istafil twisted his sensitive wingtip, forcing him onto his knees. Foxies! All right, so we're going to stop there. That was just a few pages from Rosemary A. John's Vampire God, which is book five, the final book. Um the thrilling climax to her Rebel Angels series. You can get the whole box set now. Five fabulous books of angels, vampires, demon, maybe. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, gods, uh, monsters. It's brilliant. And you can listen to the whole thing on Amazon, iTunes, iTunes and Audible. I am narrator, writer and actor Rebecca McKernan. You can find me at RebeccaMcKernan.com um, and at Becca Tells Tales on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for listening and I'll see you again soon. Mwah.